I think education is the only way for Afghans to really prosper and, and get better. And um, in my book, I think um, the only way that these girls will have self-respect and um, recognition among their families, among their um, community. If a, if a widow or any young woman or older woman, if they walked in the street alone when Taliban were there, they would shoot them. The place I chose to have a school, it's very, very conservative area. These are the Mujahideen that fought the Taliban, but they just could not even imagine their daughters to go out and be somewhere for seven, eight hours to go to school. This is our seventh year, and uh, now the parents are, the father, the brother, are bringing these young girls to be admitted. I tell the teacher to teach them only thing first day is to write their father and then his name in three languages and take it home and give it to your father. And believe me, the men have come back to the school crying. Today in Afghanistan we have 8 million, over 8 million children in school, 40% of them, nearly 40% are girls. Afghanistan simply can't afford to go back to the days where 50% of its population was denied its basic human rights and girls were denied their human right to education. And for Afghanistan to have any chance of prosperity, any chance of a bright future, it has to educate its girls. The system is not exactly what we want, but at least um, there is hope and these girls get out and they walk and they come back. So that's a change by itself in their life.